Hi, Marielena, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. How are you? How's everything? Fine. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Fine. <laughs> Do you have any children, Maria Elena? Yeah. Um, two boys, or but um, my son. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, my daughter, Dow. So daughter. Uh huh. Daughter. Uh -huh. uh, ah, okay. Are they are they young? Are they young? Uh, uh, nine. Uh, nine years old uh -huh. and Yuvia Belen twelve years old. Ah, and okay. you teacher? I don't have any children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have any children. Do you like children? Um, I like to see children, but I don't like to have children. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and they are not going right, to school, right. I guess, right? Yeah, no. Uh -huh. Today, no. <laughs> what do they do in their free time? My son or, or your? Yeah. Any of them, your, 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 your son and daughter? Uh, my son um, practiced Taekwondo and, and soccer. Ah, okay. Uh, my daughter um, draft, dibujo. Drafts, uh huh. Draft, yeah, and pintura, sería picture. Uh, paintings. Mm -hmm. Paintings, okay. Mm -hmm. Paintings, okay. Nice, nice. They are very young, right? They are very young. <laughs> Yeah. Mm, that's right. Hi, Pedro. How are you? I'm sorry that I didn't say hi. I'm fine, teacher. How is the How is the flu going? Are you feeling better? Uh, yes. Uh, only the Corona with the ceviche is a very deadly. <laughs> that's the only Corona that you believe in. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> they act activate the the different uh, for the security of the company. Ah, okay, okay. The problem is the, the information is uh, 1.8 the True. percent is, is the uh, is the diet in this moment for the people, but mm -hmm. in El Salvador we have uh, another virus with more percentage. So it's the problem with the um, uh, the people, um, the adult people, old people. Yeah, old people, that's 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 more difficult or, for them, right? Uh -huh. Yes, or child or babies. Um, and the moment that they can uh, uh, put the tablet, Vitamin C, tablet, and uh, <laughs> no, no, give the hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And no, but to put the, and, yeah, and but, the face. Yeah, but and the, and the washer. Uh huh. The, the hand. Yeah, but they need to be careful too. I mean, we don't, we don't yes, want, uh, yeah, we don't want more people to be affected. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the for the moment, uh, waiting the. Uh, the con um, the the virus is uh, eliminate for the temperature in, the, in, in, in this country uh, for the weather. Uh, yeah, for the weather. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is very uh, it's hot. hot. Yeah, it's a hot weather. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Maybe maybe we need to go to San Miguel, right? Ah, it's okay. <laughs> it's impossible <laughs> survival in in, in in this weather. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, we're going to wait a couple of minutes, okay, because we are missing uh, some people. But thank you so much for uh, joining us. Just let me prepare a couple of things here and then we are going to start. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Have you been checking the platform, people? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you have any problems there? Yeah. In the health, health, eh, bueno, los problemas de salud que habla. Ah, okay. Yeah, we are going to see that today. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Difficult. Um, but I don't know the complete uh, um, the complete sentence. Uh -huh. For yeah. example, mm -hmm. um, uh, 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 the como ahí está el complemento el dolor de muela del dolor de muela. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, um, Ponía, yo ponía eh, to vis, vis, visit, to go, to have, ah, eh, uh, 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 muchos, eh, y no le pegaba. Ay. Pero al final le pegó o todavía tiene ese... Sí, ese... le pegué, pero eh, me, me costó. Ah, le costó. <ríe> sí, la cuestión es que en ese caso... Eh, creo que hacía falta el verbo. Entonces, como no hemos visto, ajá, como ajá, hay unas que no aparecen en la plataforma. Entonces, creo que ese era, era, era uno de los problemas que teníamos. To get, creo que era. Uh -huh. o sea, de hecho, uh, ajá, ponía, de, yo ponía los verbos. Sin ajá. embargo, no, sí me costó. Ajá. Porque sí, pegarle es que eso... a lo que quería. Ah, ahí era to see. Ah, to see. Uh -huh. Era to see en esa, era to see eh, dentist. Ah, uh -huh. eh, Mirar un dentista, yo, ma, mirar un dentista. O era to visit, uh -huh. to go, uh -huh. pero to see, me pareció raro el complemento. Uh -huh. el, el, uh -huh. el... Sí, el problema es que por lo menos nosotros... Eh, nosotros en español no decimos, nosotros solo decimos ir al dentista, ¿verdad? Ir al dentista. Yeah. La cuestión es que en inglés nosotros sí tenemos esa opción que dice to see a dentist. Es como que ah. va y que lo chequee. Ajá. Ah, entonces así lo manejan, como to see a dentist. Uh -huh. eh, o to see a doctor, eh, también eso es posible, ver, ver ajá. a un doctor. Ajá. ajá. Eh, la, la otra era, me costó mucho, era... De vitamin C. De vitamin C. Ah, de la vitamina C. Ajá. Y así como. No me recuerdo qué puse, pero sí me costó. Pero no era algo que estábamos acostumbrados a decir. No era take el que puso. Puse to take, to Ajá. drink, to. Ay, no sé. Consumen, consumir. Y no me acuerdo cuál era. Pero era una bien diferente a lo que estamos acostumbrados. Sí ah, uh -huh. bueno, ya voy a revisar eso porque eso, o sea, no, no lo he hecho porque pensé que estaba fácil, de hecho. <risa> uh -huh. sí. Pero sí, ya, ya lo voy a consultar entonces a ver qué, qué está pasando ahí. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for telling me. Okay. Hi, Saida. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. Nice. Nice, nice to have you back. Casi siempre se le, se le corta la, la... Bueno, eso es la primera vez creo que se le cortó, ¿verdad? Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y no sé por qué siempre tengo esa imagen de ahí. <laughs> ok. <laughs> All right. Ok, everybody, thank you so much for joining us one more time. Uh, on behalf of Inglés Corporativo, uh, I welcome you and thank you for making the time. I know that it is difficult uh, to do this after work, especially when you are in your house and it is very hot, right? <laughs> so, but right now we are going to do a couple of exercises um, to do a review from yesterday and also we're going to start a new section, section number two, okay? Um, first, we're going to finish with Stop the Bus. We're going to do the last round today. Okay, so get ready with your paper and your pen and pencil or pencil. And um, we're going to start 
playing this game, okay? I'll give you time so that you can have your things. And little by little, the others are going to join us, okay? Today we're going to play only with one, with one letter, okay? Because we need to see some parts of vocabulary and it is important that we take our time with that, okay? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. We are yes, ready. yes. <laughs> okay, let's see. We're going to play with letter. Letter. Let's see. I'm trying to think about the letters. Let's see. Letter G. Okay. G. Go for it. Letter G. Okay. Remember when you finish, you need to say stop the pass. Okay. Stop the pass. I'm going to silence your uh, microphones. And when you're ready, remember activate it. And you can say stop the pass. Okay. Remember name, last name, object, fruit or vegetable, verb in the past, adjective, country, and finally the total. Remember when you finish, activate your microphone and say stop the bus. Okay, 30 seconds more, 29, 27, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 13, 12. Stop the bus, teacher. Stop the bus, okay. Pedro says stop the bus, okay. Let's see. I'm going to activate your microphones and we're going to go one by one, okay. Let's see. Pedro, name. Gabriel. Gabriel. Saida? Herman. Herman. And Maria, Maria Elena? Herson. Harrison, okay, 10 points for you. Let's see, last name. Pedro. Mm -hmm. Gonzalez. Gonzalez, like me, okay. Saida. Gutierrez. Gutierrez, Marilena. Garcia. Garcia, excellent, 10 points. Hi, Luis. We're going to finish in a while, okay? Because we're doing only one, okay? So I'm gonna finish quickly. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, let's see, Pedro, uh, object. And the uh, gun. Gun, okay, Saida. Gun. Guitar. Mm -hmm. Marilena. Guitar. Guitar. Guitar, five points. Okay, uh -huh. and 10 points for Pedro. Fruit or vegetable, Pedro? Grapefruit. Grapefruit, okay, Saida. I don't have. You don't have, okay, Marilena. Uh, grapes. 
grape. Okay, so grapefruit and grape is not the same. So 10 points for you. Okay. 10 points for you. Uh, verb in the past. Verb in the past. Let's see, Pedro. And the gallop. Gal gallop. gallop. What is that? G-A-L-L-O-P. Galloped. Okay. Okay. In E-D al final. Okay. E-D. E-D. Galloped. Uh -huh. Galloped. Uh-huh. Perfect. Saida? Got. Got. And Marilena? Got. Got to? Five points. Got. got. <laughs> okay. Five points. Adjective. Pedro? Gigantic. Gigantic, nice. Saida. Gigantic. Excuse me, Saida. Ratiful? I don't know what. Hmm. What is that? No. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> How do you translate that? How do you translate that? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that doesn't exist. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> And Maria Elena, what do you have? Good. Good, okay, excellent. And Pedro, country? Germany. Germany, uh huh, Saida? Germany. Germany, too, five points. And Maria Elena? Gr uh, Groenlandia. Okay, Groenlandia. I'm not really sure if that's the name in English, but I'm going to give you the points, okay? And also you have what you have Guatemala. Guatemala. It's next to it is next to El Salvador. Come on. <laughs> You're thinking about a Europe, you know, and other countries, but not so <coughs> okay. Okay. All right. So let's see how many points do you have in total, please. Okay, because we finished this um, this game. So how many points do you have in total from letter S to letter G? From letter S to letter G. And we're going to have a winner today. Mm -hmm. How many points did you get, Pedro? 415. 415, wow, nice. Luis? I don't have the, the count. Oh, you don't have the number? No, okay. I don't have the number. Okay. Marilena, how many points did you get? Uh, no lo tengo. Okay. <laughs> okay. Es que lo copié en diferentes lugares. Ah, ah okay. Inside that, do you have the points? No. No? Okay. <laughs> All right. No problem. The thing is that we practiced, okay? This is a good game for training your vocabulary in English, okay? So say bye-bye to stop the bus because we're not going to play that Aww. for the rest. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, we have some classes to follow. <laughs> All right. So uh, yesterday we were learning how to use can and should, okay? We were explaining that for can, uh, I'm sorry, you can use can for abilities and also things that you're able to do, okay? For example, if I have the money, I can buy a new car, okay? Because I have that ability or I have that possibility, okay? I am able to do it, so I can buy a new car, okay? Or another person, she can buy a new car or she can buy a house. I was explaining that in this case, um, you can keep it in the same way. You don't need to change the verb because we are not doing a third person singular, okay? Sorry, we are not working with uh, the simple present. So we don't have a third person singular rules here because we are using models, okay? And they work just similar to a, uh, an auxiliary, okay? They work almost in the same way. Also, we have affirmative and we have negative sentences. So the negative will be, I can't buy a new car because I don't have money. So it is impossible for me to do it, okay? I am not able to do that. And she can't buy a house, okay?
okay? Also, we were explaining how to use should, okay? Remember, this is the pronunciation, should, should. And we use should. that for suggestions and recommendations, okay? And I have an example here. Uh, you should buy a new cell phone, okay? Because probably yours or like my case is broken, okay? It is broken, so teacher, you should buy a new cell phone, okay? That's my that, that you can tell me, teacher, that's my recommendation for you, okay? You should buy a new cell phone. Or if you have a really, really nice and expensive and big cell phone, no, teacher, you shouldn't buy a new cell phone, okay? That's okay, you have yours, okay? <laughs> So we have shouldn't and should not, okay? Which is the contraction, uh, should not, and shouldn't is the contraction of should not, okay? Um, let's see, we were, te you were telling me, um, yeah, you were telling me some uh, sentences for this question. For example, what can I do for, what can I do on vacation? So you can rest. <coughs> No, teacher, you can't work. Come on, you are on vacation, right? You can travel, you can go to the beach, you can sleep, you can't get up early, and I can't, uh, well, in the case of Liz told me, okay, I can't go to the bathroom right now, okay, because I am in the class, right? Um, also, I, I asked for some recommendations. What should I do with a $1,000? Ah, teacher, you should travel to Colombia, okay? I shouldn't travel to China because it is very dangerous. Uh, I should buy a new laptop or a new computer. I should buy a TV. I should drink uh, liquid for the flu. And I should buy a new guitar, okay? So those are some recommendations that you are going to, that you gave me, okay? Now I have, um, well, also you told me some recommendations for the coronavirus, okay? Some recommendations that you have given me, okay? And that was nice, okay? We were, we were discussing something about today, okay? And now I have, um, I have uh, some practices for you. We're going to practice in a conversation, but first uh, you're going to give me an answer to these sentences, okay? Um, Let's see. What can I do in my free time? What do you think? What, what can I do in my free time? You can what? Tell me. What can I do in my free time? Or you tell me, what can you do in your free time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any, any uh, answers? What can I do in my free time? Or what can you do in your free time? What can I do? I can practice my English. Ah, I can practice my English. Excellent. Okay. You have some time to check the platform. Perfect. I can practice <laughs> my English. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other? Uh -huh. What can I do in my free time? Or what can you do in your free time? Uh -huh. Marilena, what do you think? Or Pedro? I can I sleep. <laughs> I can sleep, excellent. Okay, you need a lot of sleep, excellent. Pedro, what can you do in your free time? Or Luis, what can you do in your free time? I can go to the river for relax. Ah, nice, nice, nice. You can go to the river. Excellent. And Mr. Pedro, what can you do in your free time? Um, I can uh, construction or construct. No, construct. I can construct. Uh -huh. I can construct. Construct. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. I nice. can construct some uh, circuit um, from China or from <laughs> China. From China. 
Okay, don't do that. That's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. let's see. The next one, what should I do when I am late for work? What should I do when I am late for work? I think sometimes that has, that has happened to you, right? Uh -huh. What do you do? Oh, what should I do? Uh -huh. Or tell me something negative, what, uh, what I shouldn't do. Sorry, what should I, yeah, what is something that I shouldn't do? Uh -huh. I should get up uh, temprano. Earlier? Uh -huh. Early? Early. Okay, mm -hmm. I should get up early. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Do you think that I should take uh, or sh I should go to, uh, I don't know, I sh I sh do you think should I go to McDonald's if I am late for work? <laughs> no. No, right? You shouldn't go to McDonald's if you're late for work. Okay. <coughs> what else? What should I do when I'm late for work? Uh -huh. Any recommendations? Mm -hmm. I, I should, huh? I should um, wake up um, by a.m. <laughs> Okay, I should wake up at 5 a.m. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Luis, what do you think? I shouldn't run. I shouldn't run. Yeah, it's sometimes it is more difficult, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or you should run for the bus. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you need, you need to run for the bus to take the bus. <laughs> All right, and Marilena, what should I do if uh, when I'm late for work? Mm -hmm. When I am late for work, any recommendations? Should I call my boss that I am late or no? What do you think? Yeah, you should call the, your boss. Yeah, yeah, you should call your boss, right? Because you know, boss, I'm going to be late. There's a lot of traffic. So see you in 10 or 15 minutes, okay? Or more, sometimes even more, okay? The next question for you, what can I do to improve my English? What can I do to improve my English? Huh? Or what, sh what, what can I do to improve my English? Maybe in negative too. For example, uh, I can't speak in, in Spanish if I want to improve my English, right? I can't speak in Spanish. <coughs> what do you think? You should read a book in English. Okay, you should read a book in English, or you can read a book in English. Uh huh. Nice. Another, another uh, example. I can listen English music. Okay, I can English. Uh, sorry, I can listen to English music. Uh mm -hmm. Pedro. Mm. I can practice every day. Ah, okay. I can practice every day. Do you have a person to practice with? Uh, yes, with American people. <laughs> ah, nice, excellent. It's yeah. more difficult in, in the calling. I know, it is more difficult, but uh, that helps you, okay? That helps you a lot. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's nice, okay? Hi, Margarita, welcome. Hi, teacher. No. All right, let's continue. The next one. Uh, what should I do to have more money, okay? What should I do to have more money? Any recommendations, people? Or it can be affirmative or negative. Remember that we have the two possibilities. What should I do to have more money? Any recommendations? Let's see, Saida, do you have any recommendations? Well, do you? Uh, no, um, I no. Yeah, think about it. Think about it, people. What should I do to have more money? You should what? 
Should I go to the Cameron if I want to have more money? No. <laughs> All right. Uh, you shouldn't go to the I, sh I should uh, buy a new car. <laughs> to have more money. I should to buy and sell things. Ah, okay. You should buy and sell uh, new things, okay? Mm -hmm. Like in a business. Yes. Ah, okay, yeah. You can say that, you should have a business, okay? Mm -hmm. If you want to have more money, okay? Maybe you should have a business. Uh -huh. What else? What do you think, Liz? What should I do to have more money? For example, you can buy American clothes. Ah, okay, you can buy American clothes and then you can sell American clothes, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Perfect. Sounds like a good plan. Uh -huh. Pedro, what do you think? What should I do to have more money? I, I, should, save, I should save the money and, and, change, and change the habit. And I should change habit. Ah, I should change the habit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. And can you save money, people? Because sometimes, for me, it is difficult to save money. What about for you? Is it easy to save money? No, me too. No. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I should uh -huh. to find uh, a... Uh, job. Okay, I should find a better job. Uh -huh. Nice. Uh -huh. I should find a better job. Okay, un trabajo diferente, mejor. Okay. I should ha I should find a better job. Okay. Pedro, can you save money easily? In the ruler. Huh? <laughs> this one ruler. Um, you should save. Then percentage money of the salary. Ah, okay. And you do that every month. And you do that every month. Uh, yes, it's ah. possible. Okay, nice, nice. What about you, Margarita? Can you save I money? <laughs> yes. Um, I have work, hard work. Ah, you work hard. You hard work. Yeah, yes. You are a hard worker. Uh -huh. Um uh -huh. I I I am um oh business a business woman business woman and ah, how nice. you have a company uh, has has a how you have a um hecho <laughs> mano ah it's a handcraft handcraft uh -huh. ah okay you, I... you 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 do handcrafts yes ah nice interesting interesting excellent okay so i this... practice i practice uh, bakery ah nice so you have a lot of talents you can do uh... many things <laughs> yes. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Nice. Now I want you to prepare one question like this, people. Okay. I need you to prepare one question like this. What can I do? Blah blah blah. Or what? Uh, what can I do to? Or what should I do to? Okay. I need you to prepare one question like this. Okay. And I need you to write it in your notebook or in a piece of paper. But I need you to have one question. Okay because we are going to help you to uh, we're going to help you to find a solution to that problem okay for example what can i do to uh, have a new car i don't know there are many many problems that you may have you can invent a problem okay no problem you can invent one you think can or should okay can or should and we're going to help you with 
pensar. Ah, se le cambió el ruido. Pero me hubiera ver otro pedazo de y se me hubiera ver otro pedazo. Okay. A few seconds more. One for sentence with can. No, and only, one sentence no, for sure. No, only one. Only one. Only one. Okay. Yeah. One question with okay. can or one question with sure. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see, Pedro, do you have your question? Um, uh, what do I to, what do I do to increase the money in the house? What can I do to increase the money? The money in the house. In your house. Okay. In your house, my house. house. <laughs> well, you, you, it can be your house, okay? Because it is a problem okay. for you. So, what can you do to increase oh. money in your house, in your home? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I think uh, maybe you should have a small business, you know, like a mini store, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What are other recommendations for Pedro? Okay. He's asking, what should I do to have or to increase the money in my house? Money. Tell me two recommendations more for him, please, for him. Huh? Recommendations more for him? <laughs> what should I do to increase the money in my house? You should, you should have a car wash in ah, your house. Nice, you should have a car wash in your house. Yeah, I think that's very common and you have a lot of money, right? Yes. Okay, one recommendation more for Pedro? For example, the buy chips. Chips, and like uh, Tigo and chips. Movistar? No. Ah, okay. Chips. <laughs> <laughs> Shirts? Uh-huh, chef, chef. I don't know with the, the, the correct oh, pronunciation. T-H-E-A-P. T-H-E-A-P. Uh, threats, threats, no. T-H. Or buy low, for example. To buy low and, and sell high. Ah, to buy low and to sell oh, high. Object. Yeah, uh, like some object, for example, the car, TV, and the cell cell phone is ah. more common. Mm, okay. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. A A O A L O X for example. Ah, in O yeah, in all L X yeah. O L X uh -huh. right? It's pretty similar. Uh -huh. Okay. Nice. Nice. Let's see, Margarita. Do you hey. have a, Do you hey. have a problem? Yeah. What should I do to have and minus debts? Ah, what should I do to have less debts? Less debts, okay? Less. Uh-huh, less, uh-huh. L-E-double-S, L-E-S-S. -S. Less debts. Minus debts. No, we say less debts, uh-huh. Ah, oh, okay. What is the uh -huh. meaning, teacher? Uh, menos deudas, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Ah, I think you should, um, what, sh what should I do to have less debt? Para tener menos deudas. Any recommendations for her, people? I think Teacher, you should. Teacher, how do you say presupuesto? Budget. Budget. Yeah, budget. I will, I, yeah, I wrote it. Hey. Uh -huh. Catch. You should have a budget. Uh huh. You should have a month. budget. Uh huh. Nice. Uh huh. Debe tener un presupuesto. Okay. You should have a budget. Uh -huh. Nice. Every month. Uh huh. Another recommendation. 
Do I you pay um, necessary things? Ah, you should pay necessary things. Yeah, that's why we have a budget, okay? That's why we have a budget. Mm -hmm. Also, I think sometimes you can, or you should, um, you should use, or you should buy uh, expensive things or less expensive things. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be another solution, you know? You could buy less expensive things. Yeah, all right, thank you. Saida, do you have a problem? <laughs> Yes. Tell us. What can I do to cook better? Ah, what can I do? What can I do to cook better? Mm -hmm. I want to know those answers because I need to cook better too. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Any recommendations for Saida? Do you have C tutorial YouTube? <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you should watch uh, YouTube tutorial. Watch. Watch YouTube. Watch. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Uh -huh. And any other recommendation for her? For me? For me, um, um come on. You should? Uh-huh. For me, uh me ha funcionado. Ah, it has worked. It has yes. worked. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I watch YouTube, but not for tutorials. Maybe for something else, but I should start. Uh, I should start watching the <laughs> Okay. And the last one. Let's see, Luis. Do you have a problem, Luis? For example, what can I do the next Holy Week? Ah, what can I do the next Holy Week? Okay. Uh, you should go to the beach. If we don't have coronavirus, you should go to the beach. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> any other recommendation for him? You know Holy Week, right, people? Holy Week. Oh, Semana Santa. Holy Week. Can you should be at home. Yeah, no contesté. Yeah, you should be home. <laughs> and rest all yeah. Holy Week. Yeah, you should rest and sleep all Holy Week. <laughs> yes. It is better for, for you. Yeah, it is better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you so much, people. Uh, we have to move on. Okay. We have to move on. So we're going to see some. Okay. Um, we're going to see some health complaints. Okay. Health complaints. What are complaints? Well, sometimes we don't feel well, um, or sometimes we have a problem in our body. And we are not feeling, um, yeah, we are not feeling well. We are not feeling perfect, okay? So for this, we are going to go to this website. You can take notes of this link so that you can practice this over the weekend, okay? Because this, this is a specific uh, type of vocabulary that, um, that you can practice for health, okay? Health health problems or health complaints, okay? So it is that bit, that Lee, slash, health, two, 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 okay? It's for twos. So let me show you how to access to this using Google, okay? It is very simple. Let me show you. All right. So on Google, you need to go to the bar uh, to the uh, website bar, okay? And you're going to type bit.ly uh, health222, two, two, two. okay? And then you give an enter. And automatically, you're going, to you're, go you're going to have a little game, okay? That we're going to start playing today. Actually, you can play this on your cell phone or you can play it on a computer, okay? It is very easy and it is very useful for learning vocabulary, okay? So I'm going to share that link with you on, on, now. on WhatsApp also, okay? I'm going to share that now on WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Lo voy a compartir en WhatsApp para que todo el mundo lo tenga y lo pueda usar fácilmente desde su teléfono. ¿Ok? Algo que he estado observando últimamente que es que en este programa cuando lo usen el teléfono le pide que cree una cuenta, pero no es necesario. ¿Ok? Simplemente le da una X que está por ahí. Y probar, dice un examen. Le voy a dar clic. Luego espero un momento. Y una lo siguiente. Entonces, aquí para darle vuelta es muy fácil. Única cualquiera de las esquinitas de la tarjeta. So, puede ser esta tarjeta, este, este lado. Puede ser este otro lado. Puede ser esta esquinita de aquí arriba. O esta de acá. Ok. Al darle clic a cualquiera de esas esquinas, automáticamente se va a dar vuelta. Y al darse vuelta, me va a decir la palabra en inglés. Así que puede tener con volumen su teléfono para que escuche a qué se refiere. Por ejemplo, en ese caso, si le doy clic acá, ya me aparece, me, me aparece la palabra. Backache. Ok. Backache. ¿Qué, es, ¿Qué significa backache? Pues solamente le doy clic otra vez, otra vez acá para que le dé vuelta la fichita. A pain in your back. Un dolor en su espalda. Ok. Entonces, nosotros le llamamos dolor de espalda. En inglés se llama backache. Ok. Backache. Uh -huh. Así se le dice. Entonces, este programa me gusta bastante porque al darle vuelta la, la, la tarjetita, automáticamente le dice cómo se, cómo se pronuncia para que usted lo vaya repitiendo. ¿Ok? A pain in your back. A pain in your back. Backache. Backache. ¿Ok? Vamos a ir viéndolo rápido. Ok, aquí vamos a ir viendo poco a poco. Vamos a ir un poco rapidito. A strip of cloth, ok, un pedazo de, 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 de tela, ok, a strip of cloth that is used to cover an injury, que es usada para cubrir una, una herida on someone's body to protect it, ok, una herida en la, en, la, en, la, en la parte del cuerpo de cualquier persona para protegerlo. ¿Cómo se le llama ese elemento? Bandage. Bandage. Ok. Bandage. Ok. So you can wear a bandage. Ok. Usted puede usar una, 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 una banda o una, no sé cómo se llama eso en español. <ríe> o como una, sí, como ese, ese material. Ok. En inglés se llama bandage. Ok. Y ahí le voy explicando qué significa. Okay. ok, cuando cuando es causado por calor o por fuego, se le llama burn, ok, burn, burn, ok. Lo vamos con el siguiente. An illness that makes you cough a lot. Una enfermedad que lo hace eh, toser bastante. Cough, cough ok, cough que sería la tos, ok, cough, An illness that makes you cough, a lot. cough, ok, a pain, you feel inside your head. a pain you feel inside your head, ok, a pain that you feel inside your head, headache, ok, headache, headache, a pain you feel inside your head. ok, ahí lo bueno es que tiene una imagen y tiene una explicación, ok, next, a pain in the stomach, a pain in the stomach, okay? A pain in the stomach. What is the word that we use in English for that? Stomachache, okay? Stomachache. Stomachache, okay? The next one. A condition in which your skin is burnt and red because you have slept too long in the strong heat of the sun. When, you're, when your skin is very red because you were under the sun, you know? So you can see that in the picture. We call that sunburn, okay? Sunburn. Lo traduce como quemada del sol, sunburn, okay? 
porque una quemada normal con fuego sería burn. Pero en ese caso, como es causada por el sol, sería sunburn. 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 Uh -huh. Sunburn. Uh -huh. Sunburn. When you have a pain in your teeth, okay, a pain in your teeth, in that case, it is toothache, 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 uh -huh. toothache. Uh -huh. so maybe something is going on in your teeth, okay, so it is a toothache, toothache, uh -huh. So when you're uh, when you're cutting onion or tomato, okay, and then you cut one of your fingers, okay, you cut it like this, chop up, okay, chop up. That is like when you cut when you're cutting something, and then you you cut a little bit your finger, okay. That is a chop up, okay, chop up. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have So this is like um, When you're speaking and there is some air like inside you, okay, and we call it Hiccup, okay, hiccup Se lo que sería el hipo. Hipo. Hiccup. 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 Hay gente que no soporta eso. Las hiccups. Hiccups. When you're like this all the time, you know? When you have allergy and you're like this all the time, we call it itchy. 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 Okay, when you're like this all the time, you know, because you have allergies or something, itchy. Okay. So this is an element that you put in your hand. For example, if you have a burn, if you have a burn, you put uh, something in your hand, on your hand. And uh, how do you call that in Spanish? What do you put? Toothpaste. No, it is not toothpaste. This is for your body. The toothpaste is for um, your teeth. Uh -huh. So how do you call that, for example? Skin. Uh -huh. yeah. And you put it in your skin. What is it? Uh, yeah. yeah, it is medicine. It is not the other one. Uh -huh. Pomada, okay, pomada, uh-huh, sí. yeah, uh-huh, yeah, similar. In this case, in English, it is sí. ointment, ointment. Sí. ointment, yeah, that's how we call it in English, okay, ointment, ointment. If you have a burn or if you have something in your body, um, you can, uh, you can, improve it or make it feel better with ointment, you know? Like crema combinada, you know, that it's ointment. Ointment. Okay. Yeah, ointment, exactly. Ointment, uh -huh. or pomada, okay? Mm -hmm. So I think this is not very common in our country, but it is uh, also a piece, of, a piece of, of, of cloth, como un pedazo de manta, okay? to protect a part of your body. This is called a pad in English, okay? But I don't think right. these, are, these are common. I don't think these are common in our country. We have bandage, okay? Bandage is more common in our country, but pads, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So a uh, shoe is the picture saying, okay? Ah, uh, shoe. Sure. Mm, How do blue. we call that in English? Blue. Blue. Knees. Okay. Knees. Yeah, that is the action. Yes. Okay. When you say ah, uh, shoe. Okay. Use knees. Okay. Sneeze. 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 So, 
when you so, you feel something in your throat and it is difficult to drink water to to eat food you know because you feel like yeah when you when you feel something in your throat we call it sore throat sore throat sore throat sore throat sore throat So this is a illness or a sickness that causes fever and headache, okay? And headache. Is it a flu? Yeah, this is flu. Okay. It can be it can be a flu, flu or cold. it can be a cold. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. You can say I have the flu or I have uh, or I uh, I have a cold. Yeah. Any of those cases is correct. Okay. Flu or cold. Blue or cold? When you feel something, when you feel, when you make someone worried, not happy, or very angry. Upset, okay? Upset. Upset. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you feel upset because you're sick, you know? Sometimes you feel upset because you're, you're, you're sick, okay? So if you are in the sun and then you fall down, okay, because you haven't eaten any food, faint, okay, faint, okay, just my ears, faint, okay, faint. So elevated body temperature. In that case, it is fever, okay, fever. What we call fiebre, okay, fever, fever. And finally, we call this urina, urinary tract infection. In Spanish, it's infección a vías urinarias. But in English, we can call this in a very easy way. In English, we call it UTI, you know, only the first letters of the word. UTI. UTI, okay, UTI, okay, UTI, okay, so, um, you can check this website, pueden ver ese, este, este sitio web durante el fin de semana para que se puedan aprender todas estas enfermedades o problemas de salud un poco más rápido, recuérdese que tiene que darle clic en cualquiera de estos cinco para que no le esté pidiendo cuenta cada rato, ok. Y si se la pide, solo dele en la, en la X pequeña que tiene por ahí y fácilmente lo va a poder hacer. ¿Okay? Así que ya se lo voy a compartir por ahí por WhatsApp para que lo puedan ver durante el fin de semana. ¿Ok? So, thank you so much, thank everybody. You, thank you. Have a good night and see you next week. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, Bye. teacher. Bye.